guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Archer School for Girls for a taping of Fab Lab, a new show aimed at getting young girls to enter the field of science. So, STEM, Fab Lab, you know this is going to be an exciting adventure for you know young girls out there that you know this is going to be their chance to learn about science and that you know they can do what the boys do too. Let me, are you, have you been good, are you a good math person? Let me ask you that. Um, the thing with math is that I was never a huge fan of it. I understand its importance and why it's important to learn it. Um, but for me, it was always like, it was hard to understand at first, but then once I got it, I was really good at it. So I kind of like walked that line between like, eh, I'm like, I'm like, it's weird. Like I know how to do it sometimes, but I'm like, ah, it stresses me out. So. I don't know. I'm like 50-50 with math. <laughs> and I like to ask these people these questions because it's like knowing whether or not you're good at math says a lot about a person. Yeah, true. Sometimes. For sure. <laughs> so let me ask you, in the field of science, is there anything that you're passionate about or something that you would like to see an invention come about or something to help fix a certain problem out there in the world? I mean, honestly, right now, the first thing that comes to mind is just the drought that we're in, especially in California. I mean, that's just like a huge issue scientifically, like socially, just everywhere. Um, I mean, I'm not a genius, I don't consider myself a genius, but if someone out there, even if I was to sit down and like think about like, what can we do to help this? Like that would be something I would love to see solved uh, through technology or science or whatever it may be. That's just like, it's so important. One, that we got water, <laughs> and second of all, that we can find a good solution for it. And, Hopefully this, I mean, you know, we can only control rain so much, but if there was another alternative, I mean, we could get all, you know, Martian on everybody and just make water out of random materials like he did, but, you know, that's, that's kind of an issue that would be cool to solve. What about experiments? Have you ever had a successful or major failure of an experiment? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, I did a lot of labs in high school, like uh, my sophomore year I was doing my show Lab Rats and uh, in order to graduate you had to do a certain amount of labs, so on weekends I would go in really early to do labs with uh, my teacher every Saturday. Um, and we did lots and lots of experiments. Um, I think we actually might have done the one that they showed today where you dump, I think it was the soap or whatever, into the uh, catalyst reaction thing. Um, that, mine did not look crazy like that, but uh, no, stuff like that, like I'm trying to think back, I'm like sophomore year, that was like four years ago, but uh, just like even in like eighth grade and stuff, I always was a really big fan of like chemistry and just fun science experiments. I don't think I ever had one go horribly wrong because I probably would have remembered that. Like, oh yeah, I burnt my eyebrows off or something. Like that, we don't want that, that would not be good. Um, but no, I just always had fun with it. Never had a major fail, which is good. But it's just fun to see you get different results every time and compare it to others and it's just fun and you learn stuff. So. Do you have a dream invention, something you wish someone would create right now so that you can use it? Flying cars oh, to get around traffic. Yes. I've thought about it too. I'm like, I've actually, this is something I've actually sat down and been like, okay, flying cars. How would traffic signals work? How would we stay in our lanes? Like, I've thought about these things and I'm like, I'm going to invent it one day. But I mean, I feel like this would solve the traffic issue because some people would be on the ground and some people would be up in the air, therefore reducing the amount on the ground. So, I don't know. That I'm waiting for it. Well, it's very back to the future like so thank you so much for talking to us and and you know i'm gonna be thinking about this flying car when yeah. i'm driving home today me too for awesome. sure thank you thank you so much thank you guys for watching our coverage of fab lab make sure to leave us a comment below letting us know are you team math or are you team science also give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channels for more